Hey guys, welcome to Blue World, the place where I solve your nothing to wear drama and also talk about fashion, beauty, social media hacks and so much more every Sunday. So, for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Lenka and in this video I'm going to show you 5 80s inspired trends that you can incorporate into your wardrobe ASAP. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first trend is scrunchies. When I was searching for 80s inspired typical hairstyles, I found these and I was like, why the heck would anybody want to damage their hair to such a point that it would look like a hay in order to have just uh, extreme curls or waves? I just realized I'm the same. This hairdo is finally done. Anyways, people were wearing those hairstyles because they were inspired by singers and this year scrunchies had an enormous comeback from 80s and I didn't even know, to be completely honest, that scrunchies were a thing until I saw Netflix movie to all the boys I loved before with Laura Jean wearing her signature scrunchie so I ordered uh, these from Stradivarius and they're super cute and you can simply wear it in several hairstyles and I would style them with low band to create a well put together look. I always start with creating center part. Normally I would use brush. Um, then I secure my hair into a low pony with a hair tie or you can use also your scrunchie but uh, you will more likely to have those flyaways all over your bun unless it's the type of the look you're going for. Okay. The second way to style a scrunchie is my favorite. It's a Ariana Grande's half up ponytail. You separate your hair into two sections, top and bottom. Pull your hair up to a half up ponytail and secure it with a hair tie or scrunchie as I did. And this hairstyle is super easy, super versatile and it's super easy to make, especially if you're in rush and don't have much time to style your hair for an hour. Okay, and the th this third tip is for those of you who don't want to use crunchy, but still want to try the above looks. Instead, you can use short scarf or I recently found out that when you have dress or shorts with belt made of the same fabric, you can take out the belt, tie your hair with a hair tie and add belt on the top of it as if you would with the scarf. It would look like a custom made hair tie which will make your outfit look put together without even trying. So comment below which hairstyle would you try ASAP. The next trend typical for 80s fashion was oversized blazers with shoulder pads and this trend was really inspired by a rising number of working women who started to work in office environments, had so much more opportunities and since they really wanted to be treated the same way as men were, this was the one way to really prove and show that they are um, capable of doing the same thing as men and they wanted to express it also with clothes. This phenomenon was called power dressing and it was really reinvented by Balmo and also Balenciaga and Balmain made it with a more feminine approach to it, meaning he preserved the oversized shoulder part. However, he wanted to really make a tight waist um, to really keep feminine vibe. The second one is uh, Balenciaga and Balenciaga did the exact opposite. He wanted to have a silhouette, more of a boxy silhouette and more um, masculine vibe. I personally don't like wearing blazers that much, but when I do, I don't go so crazy with oversized silhouette. But shoulder pads are a great way to showcase real power look without looking like a human hanger. Um, no offense to Balenciaga fans. So the third trend that was really huge in 80s was oversized denim jackets. And oh boy, if I could wear only one type of jacket for the rest of my life, you bet it would be a denim one because denim jacket looks fabulous with anything. Uh, I learned throughout the years that you can really wear denim in two ways. You either style it as a denim on denim look, which means you, you have denim jackets with uh, denim bottoms and you wear it as a look. You can really play there with shades of your jeans or shades of your jacket. And the second one is when you want to dress down your maybe office look or 
anything, make it more casual. For example, this Sarah Jessica Parker did, my inspiration in fashion. So for trend is polka dot, and I know polka dot wasn't so massive in 80s, but uh, when I was searching for iconic 80s looks, I found Shade and Princess Diana, and they were both wearing uh, this polka dot shirt with white mom jeans, black belt, and it looked amazing. So I don't think it was a coincidence that they were wearing the exact same thing and I believe that you could really wear this look also today. Last but not least, there's a fifth trend called mom jeans. Mom jeans is like a gift from the heaven. I'm not sure how we deserve this trend, but it's here. According to Google, it started in late 80s, then went huge in 90s. They would style it with white tee and denim jeans, some belt, and they were good to go. Me personally, I adore this trend and there is nothing better in this world than finding a well-fitting pair and wearing it all over again every day. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to make sure you'll be notified when a new video will come up and Comment down below which trend was your favorite one and what do you want me to do for the next video. Good luck with styling, see you in the next one. Bye!